Hello everyone, this is Hena and welcome to another tutorial of Tinea Marketing and today I am going to show you how can you create these type of geometrical uh, based uh, vector backgrounds in Adobe Illustrator, very simple technique that I am sharing with you. So if you are learning Illustrator and you are new to Illustrator and just uh, learning about the techniques then might be this tutorial can help you out. So let's start now. First of all what I am going to do, I am simply creating a new document here and here I want to choose the width around 500 pixels and height is 500 pixels and uh, right now I am working in the color mode that is RGB so press OK here and uh, now what I am going to do I move it around 66 percent so it will be quite easy for you to look around uh, about all the things that we are sh uh, sharing with you and now I am simply dragging up a rectangular background layer here and giving it a color right now any color that you want to give then you can place it here and uh, now what I am going to do, I am simply taking this uh, pen tool from here and dragging a simple line, uh, uh, angular line here like this. If you are not happy with the line, uh, you know, uh, alignment, then you can uh, press A from your keyboard or otherwise you can choose this direction selection tool, click on the one anchor point of the line and you can adjust it accordingly like like this so it will be looking like this to make it more prominent I want to remove this fill color from here and just choosing this black uh, stroke color and stroke point is too so it will be quite easy for you to look around the line now here uh, in the background I want to remove this uh, I'll, uh, you know background stroke color simply the fill color is there in the background line and uh, here I'm clicking on this line and press alter and shift to create a duplicate line like this with some distance so uh, here we have just created and now we can transform it by pressing ctrl D so it will be looking like this now here I am simply selecting all these uh, you know layers and uh, just uh, deselect the internal part of the background layer and now I am adjusting it so it will be quite easy for you uh, to work around the other lines as well. Now press Control C and Control F here and go into the transform and reflect option. I want to reflect it around uh, vertically um, uh, so in a vertical axis press OK here so it will be looking like this. Now we can adjust it accordingly here and uh, so I want to adjust properly so you can look around that how the things are going here and uh, simply like this. So here I have aligned it and now what I am going to do I am simply select all these layers here and go into the window pathfinder and here you can choose the divide option from here. So I will divide it and now again because the layers are invisible so I will again give it a color. So I will choose the color again so it will be quite easy for you to look around and then press uh, uh, right click on it and ungroup it to all the layers and here I am just removing this extra part of the layers. So like this carefully you have to remove all this. So now I have removed all these parts if anything left then you can do it as well and uh, now what I'm going to do I will select all these layer like this here and simply go here and you can choose different like the, for example I want to choose this one so you can see there are very simple and easy way to create these type of uh, you know illusions or lines so you can see how it would be looking like and uh, now what I'm going to do I'm simply removing this one from here so you can see how it's looking like you can also select each and everything together and now press ctrl f9 here so I want to give it a different color so it will be looking like for example this one and uh, I want to choose it because it's on a stroke now so it might be from here 
so you can see how it would be looking like so very simple and easy way to create these type of uh, you know designs or creatives or patterns uh, you can uh, create it just by using the simple technique this is the geometrical pattern that I want to share, wanted to share with you you can keep it on the uh, rectangular patterns or the some other shapes as well so it all depends you how do you want to show your uh, creative so this is the I only want to create share the technique with you might be um, there is another way to create these type of geometrical patterns but I'm using this right now for my creatives so might be this tutorial can help you out in some way so thank you so much for watching if you like my tutorial then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel have a very good day bye bye